Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday, and I just let the doggies out. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, we just finished breakfast, and now Mammal and I are sitting down to have some coffee. I know it's really dark, you can't see me. Come on, focus. There we go. We're sitting down to have coffee. Dawson's watching cartoons, and I'm gonna make our list for the day what we need to get done. Morning, Mammal. Good morning. You having a good day so far? Yeah. How's that coffee? Good. Good? How was breakfast? Good. All right. Did you good. sleep good last night? Yep. You got lost one time, didn't you? Yep. She ended up in Gavin's bed. Was Gavin's bed comfortable? <laughs> yep. All right guys, I have locked myself in the room. Just kidding, I didn't lock it. But I just shut the door so I can get some laundry done. Uh, Gavin, or Dawson and Mammal are watching cartoons and reading books and keeping each other entertained so I can get this done. And I'm gonna watch a few YouTube videos, get as much done as I can, and then we are going to go pick up a new vacuum cleaner because mine has bit the dust. It is done, it will not pick up anything. I tried vacuuming my bedroom just a little while ago and it wouldn't pick up any dog hair, it wouldn't pick up any dirt. I'm just, I'm done with it. I've had it for two years. It's done a pretty good job. Um, I've actually had it for almost three years. It's the Shark Rocket. It did really well for the first couple years and then I basically put it through hell trying to keep up with these dogs over here and it has finally given up on me. So we're gonna go pick up a new vacuum cleaner and later on we're gonna take Mammal home and then I'll have to drive down there tomorrow. And there's a spot over there on the wall that I really need to fix with some touch-up paint. And I just keep looking at it instead of actually fixing it. Look at this. Right there. Then what are we gonna do? Take me home. Take you home. You ready to be home? Yeah. You sick of us? No. Are you sure? I just wanted to be with Bill. You miss Papa? Yeah. 
Do you want to come stay with me a few days every week? Maybe. If he's okay. I think he's all right. Check out this bad boy. Oh yeah, we got a Eureka Airspeed Exact Pet. And it has this pet tool that's supposed to be good for your couches and upholstery and all that. And Dawson just broke it. Just kidding. Let's test it out. Let's see how it works. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Okay. We're going to try it out in my bedroom, which is the worst. And so is this rug. It's also really bad. You guys can't see it, but I can. And here is really bad, especially over here by the door, because this is where the dogs go in and out side. So let's try it out. So here's the carpet before. As you can see, it's absolutely covered in dog hair. And here is a before of the tank. It's pretty much empty. I did test it before I took it. I actually got this from uh, my grandma who bought a bunch of vacuum cleaners at an auction. And I was trying it out to see which one would be best. So obviously it picks dirt up. Let's see if it picks dog hair up. What I'm about to show you is really embarrassing. I had no idea how much hair and dirt was in my carpet. And I vacuum religiously, you guys. My old vacuum wasn't cutting it. Oh my God. Wait till you guys see this. Okay, I only vacuumed from there. The floor's right here, floor right here and this walkway here to the door that's it that's all i did look at this just look at this you are not gonna believe the amount of dirt and hair that are in this vacuum cleaner look look at that just look at that that is disgusting and i cannot believe we were living this way look at the carpet no hair. There's no hair. Oh my God. This is the best vacuum cleaner ever. Not sponsored. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to it. I still need to do that area, the rug in the hallway in the living room. And then we gotta go get Gavin. She's been standing right there for 15 minutes. Wonder what she's doing. What do you think she's doing? Okay. Say hi. <laughs> what are you doing? You've been standing there an awful long time. What are you doing? You better come in. You're sweating. Right. You're sweating. You better come in. We're getting ready to go. Where are you going? Pick up Gavin. You coming? Yeah. Let her in. I'll get it. Let's make sure we got all your stuff ready. Hey guys, I am in Grandma's car, uh, heading home. <laughs> I feel really weird driving this car, because I'm used to either driving our truck or the Jeep. I haven't drove a regular car in a long time. to come back tomorrow morning and then I'm off for the
over the weekend. Um, and then I will be back Monday to take care of her. And then Tuesday and Wednesday I'm off because Wednesday is the dreaded appointment. The one that I'm not looking forward to at all. And the day before I have to prepare for it. Also not looking forward to that. But anyway, uh, I'm on the interstate so I will catch up with you guys when I get home. All right guys, we are home. Britt is outside working on my Jeep, putting a brake pad back on the rear, rear wheel so it doesn't make that awful ground, grinding sound. But uh, I'm just finishing up what laundry I didn't get done earlier and enjoying a nice iced urine. Just kidding, it's apple juice. It really does look like urine though. Look at it. It almost makes me not want to drink it, but it's so good. All right guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Britt's still outside working on my Jeep. I am watching some YouTube and getting ready to do some editing. My crazy dogs are up here. I had to put a sheet over our new white comforter so these crazies didn't get dirt and hair all over it. But they're okay with it. Look at them. They're crazy. Are you guys crazy? Copper seems to be doing a little bit better. Uh, he hasn't bit anybody in the last week. So that's good. He hasn't had any accidents in the house in the past week. Um, everything seems to be going okay. Uh, Penny was kind of sick for a while. Uh, because she got loose. She had, I let them swim, I let them out one day and I let them swim in the pond and then I put them in the backyard to dry off. Well, apparently she escaped sometime in the hour that I left them back there without checking on them, which I knew I should have because she tends to escape. Well, she did and I was preoccupied with things in here. I was like doing laundry or taking care of the kids or something. I was, I was pre preoccupied, distracted. I didn't know she had gotten out, so I'm in the kitchen and I was putting dishes away and I see a bunch of people start walking up my driveway, and I mean like five people, and I see Penny on a leash and I'm like, shit, she got out. So I open the door and I had raw meat, I had a meatball in my hand that I was rolling, and <laughs> so I had Gavin open the door and this guy's like, hey is this your dog and i was like oh penny where have you been and he was like what's her name and i said penny and he goes oh she's really sweet and then his wife was behind him and she was like we fed and watered her just so you know and she was like real mean about it almost like she was accusing me of being a bad dog mom and not feeding and watering my dogs which i do they eat like hogs but i do regulate their feedings like I don't let them eat all day every day because they make themselves sick they don't know when they get full they just eat until they puke and that goes for both of them they both do that I don't know if it's their breed or whatever but I have to monitor their food intake Penny came in she was so fat she was waddling I don't know if she was full of water or full of food but she was fat, like, <laughs> like looked like she had gained five pounds, okay? So she comes waddling in the house and she's miserable. You can tell she doesn't feel good. So I go back to what I was doing and she just lays on the kitchen floor all fat and miserable. And I knew what was gonna happen. I knew she was gonna get sick and she was gonna poop everywhere because that's what dogs do when you feed them food that they're not used to. See, my dogs eat dog food, but I also give them table scraps and that doesn't bother them anymore. But sometimes if you feed them a different dog food, it will completely mess them up. And it did. She, I had to put her in her crate for the night because I knew what was going to happen. She was going to poop everywhere because she's done it before. She obliterated her cage, you guys. It was really bad. <sighs> 
I don't know what, what those people did. I don't know if they just put food in front of her until she founded herself. But if you ever take in a dog that has a collar on and you, can, you clearly know that it's someone's pet, don't stuff them full of food so much that they're bloated and miserable. Like, it really kind of pissed me off, you know? I appreciated them bringing the dog back. I don't appreciate the wife being rude to me. And I don't appreciate her foundering my dog. But here she is. She's fine now. I mean, if you can call that fine. <laughs> she may have some kind of mental disorder, but... <laughs> what are you doing? Did you run away? Did you run away, you bad dog? Oh, and if you couldn't tell, both of my dogs now have shot collars. I don't know if I talked to you guys about that or not. Penny's is for her escaping. So if I'm out back and I see that she's trying to hop the fence, I give her a little zap just to let her know that that's a no-no. That's a big no-no, isn't it? And Copper has his for when he tries to bite. Apparently he prefers the floor to the sheet. Alright guys, I have blabbed enough. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you can keep up with all of our videos. Make sure you hit the little bell so you get notified when I upload a video. And I will see you next time. Bye! to me